Hey everyone, so today we are finally, finally <laughs> going through all my makeup. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing everything. Okay, we went through everything and I feel cleansed. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated. I feel like this room looks so much better with my organization now and I'm just a lot happier and it's so freeing to see my makeup the way it is now. So this is gonna be a few separate videos. I don't have the biggest collection, but this whole ordeal, okay, this took so long to do. I thought this was going to be a modest week project. Uh, no. <laughs> this has been going on for months. So yeah, if you see nail changes, outfit changes, the whole shebang, that is why. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be organizing my complexion products. So my highlighters, bronzers, blushes. For all of my videos, you're probably gonna see me looking like this because I'm gonna be doing the same intro for all of them. Just to save myself a little bit of time and you know, to make it all a collection, I can then make it like a little playlist or something. If you're a fan of all the tapping sounds and stuff, I made this video pretty much especially for all of the tapping sounds and stuff. So it's a little bit of ASMR, but also just satisfying to have an organized collection so you don't have to be into ASMR to watch this but if you are I hope it pleases your senses um just makes me feel weird you know like ugh. anyway <laughs> if you're into these kind of declutter organizational videos and you're new to the channel why not subscribe because undoubtedly I probably will need one again in the near future because I buy way too much makeup. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button and that will notify you when I upload. If we can get to a thousand by the end of the year, I'm gonna try and do a Christmas giveaway. Obviously that's not guaranteed since we've got like, uh, maybe like three months on the way possibly. I don't even know what month are we in. Yeah, if you want to, then just subscribe. I'm gonna stop rambling now because I've been talking for quite a while. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let's get straight into the organization. I'm so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this straw is kind of broken. <laughs> the runners have come off, so I can't pull it out all the way. Um, but it's fine, because everything in here is kind of organized. When I say kind of organized, it was organized, and then stuff just kind of got through it. <laughs> I basically used uh, these little containers. These are little, like, very cheap multi-pack containers for like pack lunches or something. I got them for like maybe a pound for like a pack of 10 or something ridiculous. <laughs> so, oh my God. It's like Jenga in this drawer. I cannot wait to declutter a lot of stuff. <laughs> Before we get into it, I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, I think that's a little bit better for you guys. This drawer is a nightmare. Okay, but the drawer underneath is worse. So we'll get there. <laughs> I have my Aladdin MAC collaborations. One's a bronzer and one's a highlighter. This is the bronzer. It looks really dark, but it applies quite sheerly, so I like using this when I want to look extra tan and also if I have a tan. So, also because this is like a limited edition thing, I would never get rid of it. And it's a Disney collaboration, so. And then also this is the highlighter. I, I mean, this is way too dark for me, but I'm keeping it anyway. <laughs> Again, collaboration. Disney need to keep. Okay. <laughs> the MUA X Glow Bronzer. I really like this. I love this for travel because there's so many different shades in here. Like even if I fake tan, I have darker options. So I really like traveling with this and it blends easily and yeah, this is not going anywhere. Oh, my Fenty Beauty baby. This is probably one of my... <laughs> favorite bronzers but I can never get it open oh my gosh this is in the sun this ain't going nowhere it's staying right by my side it's probably my favorite undertone bronzer ever I really love it oh man I have not used this in a hot minute this is the Too Faced Coco Contour in the original packaging they've rejuvenated it since but as you guys can see my favorite ones were these I used to really like this as like a matte highlight and like an eye brightening agent. Uh, now see this was like a cool contour and a bronzer. I didn't really use this because it was too dark to actually highlight my skin and way too glittery, like just so glittery. It was just too much for me. Um, since I've hit pan, I'm gonna keep it um, and it was expensive when I bought it so I'm gonna keep this and try and use it to the very end. <laughs> I have this MUA, oh excuse you, 
they have this MUA bronzer, which actually these are really good. They're pigmented, but they apply sheerly, as you can probably see, like barely any colour came off there. So it's such a buildable bronzer and it's so affordable. I really love this bronzer. Um, it builds up better with a brush than it does your hand, but it's really soft and there's different shades. So this is actually a really good one. MUA redeemed themselves. So this is Stain in my collection. This is an old one. <laughs> this is a Topshop bronzer that's in the shade Mohawk. And to be fair, I still really like this. It's so soft and creamy and the color is really nice as well. It's warm, but has a slight coolness to it. I'm gonna keep this because I really like it, so why not? Oh, my beloved BH bronzer, I really love this. This is one of the warm tone bronzers that I really enjoy using. It's super soft and pigmented, but not too pigmented when you use a brush with it, and it blends out. The blend is probably my favorite thing about it. I can go really hard with this and just go overboard and it just blends away, but stays on the skin. Like, doesn't blend or fluff away, you can just easily blend it out. It's just a beautiful bronzer, I love it. And no one ever talks about it. Someone needs to. I guess I am that someone, but anyway, it's really good. <laughs> so this is staying. It's weird, for a pale person, I'm keeping a lot of bronzers. I think I'm gonna keep all of mine. <laughs> My doll Gimme Sun bronzer. Um, again, this is a buildable one. It's slightly on the warmer, side of things but it still has a slight coolness to it and the packaging is so cute very buildable very fair i could have almost gone in the shade medium i feel and that's saying something <laughs> obviously it probably have a lot warmer of an undertone so maybe not but i don't reach for this one as often because i do find myself having to build it up quite a lot um but it's still a really nice finish on the skin so i am going to keep it my jouet duo is not going anywhere. These are just such a nice formula. Um, yeah, they're really good. They're hard pressed in the pan, but when you actually get it on the skin, again, it's a very buildable formula. So I really like these. I have a mini hula that I do like to keep on hand. I love these little travel size ones because the packaging for one is not going to break. It's plastic. It's just, it's just perfect size really. Cause you can just Pack it in your bag and go. Um, so I like keeping these for travel. Um, do we have any more bronzers in here? Uh, let's see what's back here. Oh, I, yes, I have an actual hula bronzer. I mean, thinking about it, this packaging isn't gonna break either. Like, it's cardboard. Um, my logic is stifled because I am an idiot. <laughs> yes, I keep the brush in here. I actually quite like using these brushes to like chisel. You know, get right into the cheekbone and make yourself look snatched. Um, this one is staying again. I like using this more when I am tan because it is quite warm tone. I probably should get Hula Light, but as you can see, I have plenty to choose from, so I don't need to buy any more. So I'll use this one until, well, I've already hit pan, Ooh, but I'll just continue to use it and hopefully finish it off. Okay, so that's all my bronzers. You know, for Pale Girl, I've got quite a few bronzers. <laughs> I literally kept every single one pretty much i think i did oh my god i am a failure <laughs> uh what's this oh this is actually the fenty uh contour stick i actually quite like these when they came out and it's a really good cool tone color so i am actually gonna keep this people were talking about it like skipping and stuff i didn't actually experience that um i quite like these so i'm gonna keep this this is in the shade amber by the way let's do blushes next so i have this little package back here um, hmm. let's look at these two. Okay, so this is a Makeup Revolution, like, gradient highlighter. Um, yeah, it was pretty shimmery, I think, so I don't know why this is in my blush. Yeah, it's, like, super shimmery in here, but I would never use that as highlighter. I can't even see that on my skin. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> this pretty little thing blush, I remember trying it, and I was actually quite impressed with it. It is super duper shimmery, and it kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm. But I, um, I doubt I'm gonna use it because it is so shimmery. It's more like a highlight to me. It's more like a blush topper. I think I'm gonna let this one go. I thought I was probably gonna end up keeping it again then, but I think I can let it go. I don't need it. In here we have a NYX Ombre blush. 
This one is a bit intimidating for me. <laughs> Considering I have fair skin, I kind of stay in the top league of this and it's very, very peachy. It is a very pretty blush, but it again has that kind of highlight. Or is that just from the pretty little thing one? Hold please, I don't know. <laughs> okay, it doesn't have glitter in it, but it has a slight sheen, which I guess is quite nice for like a natural look, but look how pigmented it is. Um, kind of a little bit intimidating, like especially for my skin tone. I did like this peachy color, but I have other options with these kind of shades. So I'm going to pass this on to somebody else and see if they want it. Uh, yeah, I don't need it. Let's let's give it another hope. Oh, this is one of my first ever makeup products that I ever bought in my entire life, <laughs> and I made a dent in it. But this blush was hard to actually go through. This is my accessorize. I don't know if they even make makeup anymore. This is the Merged Baked Blusher in the shade Six Scandal. Ooh, <laughs> it was a really pretty color. Oh gosh, it looks very very shimmery um it's like almost purpley what was i thinking <laughs> i doubt i'm ever going to use this again but do i keep it for sentimental reasons oh it actually looks quite nice on my hand but uh um no it's very shimmery uh i don't need it you've given me joy i shall love you and leave you go thank you for your time here Thank you for being here today. Like the video if you got that reference. If you did, we could be friends. <laughs> I have this e.l.f. highlight that I used as a blush in my e.l.f. video. Um, I have not used it since, but it is very pretty and it is more of a sheen and I prefer that. So I'm actually gonna keep this for like a blush topper or a blush in itself because I did use it as a blush by itself and I really liked it and it's super subtle as you guys can see on my hand there really really pretty okay the camera might have moved slightly it died on me and it's actually a new day <laughs> so the light is probably different uh but i wore the same jumper so it doesn't spin you out that much and not because i'm just a mess uh anyway <laughs> let's continue so i've got this blush by benefit this is stay and this is again one of the sample sizes this is the rocker tour blush i really like this it's like a neutral pinky mauve kind of color um it's really good especially to take traveling again, because it's so small. I use this Rimmel blush a lot. This is the Last In Finish Soft Pink Color Blush in 20 Pink Rose. Again, another neutral one. It looks like it's not gonna do a lot for me, but I mean, I'm very pale, so it does a lot for me. If you've got like a medium skin tone, this would not work for you, but I really like this. Again, a good traveling one. And then I have all of my ooh, MAC blushes. I have uh, Dolly Mix, which the stickers rubbed off. Full of Joy, which is more of a purpley one. I really like this one. Breath of Plum. I bought this because of Nicole Guerrero. I think that's how you say her name. Um, really pretty, quite dark, but if you go in with a light hand, it's quite nice. And then of course we have Peaches, which is just a peachy blush. And then we have Spring Sheen, which is pretty much peaches, just with a gold shimmer throughout it. As you can see, they look very similar, but this one just has like a sheen to it. So these are all staying, they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> And then I have these two. This I've actually used quite a bit. This is by Bourjois. It's just the blush in Ashes of Rose and it's a dusty pink. So I think I'm just gonna keep all my blushes to be honest. I've got this one as well. It's L'Oreal Le Blush in 163 Nectarine. And it's just a very orangey. Like this is probably the most fluorescent blush I have. So I'm gonna keep this as well. So all my blushes are staying. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> well, I did get rid of some but majority is staying, but it's fine, it's fine. Progress, people, progress. <laughs> okay, uh, now we move on to highlight, um, <laughs> which as you can probably see takes up the majority of this drawer. Okay, I'm gonna start with just these ones by here. So we have my Anastasia Amrezi highlight, which is actually slightly too dark. Like I know in the pan it looks fine, but when you look at it side on, it's darker than my skin tone, so it leaves a slight cast, but I do really like it. It's quite unique, I feel, compared to the rest of my highlights, because it's kind of gold and silver at the same time. I'm gonna keep it, because if I ever tan and things, I can use it, so I am 
gonna keep it. And also, I can use it on other people when I'm doing other people's makeup, so gonna keep that one. Um, this e.l.f. quad, I was quite impressed when I tried this in the e.l.f. video, and I do want to use the shades because it's good for more like daily wear, so I'm gonna keep this. And this Revlon one as well is very similar, as you can see it's uh, had a lot of love, so I do really like this one, this one is staying also. Watch now, I just don't get rid of any of my highlights. <laughs> this Jeffree Star one, um, it's so big and like the shift is really pretty. I just found the formula chunky, but on the body it worked quite well. It's very like hard pressed in there, but it is very pretty. Um, and it's icy, but not too icy. I think I'm gonna keep this one because this is the only Jeffree Star highlight I do have. So I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> the Revlon Sun Kiss by Makeup Revolution, which is pretty much a dupe for the Jeffree Star one, but it's in the shade Ice Kiss. It's just a really pale gold. I like using this all over the body. This is staying. This Kiko highlighter, um, I really like this. It's really soft. It's super pale, but on the skin, it really just, oh, it feels so creamy. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but. It's just really creamy and the reflex really pretty, so I'm gonna keep this one. This is in the shade 01. This Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade... What shade are you? Precious Petals. It's way too dark for me and it's very pink toned. Um, I think this one can go. I've only ever used it like once, so I can get rid of this one. First one to go, yay! I have this e.l.f. duo that I tried out in the video as well and the formula is really nice. This is in the shade Mermaid Tail. I want to keep this because I have an idea for like a Halloween kind of look so if I ever get around to filming them because this is taking me so long <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this and also this pink is really nice as well so I'm gonna keep this one this Fenty Beauty um I bought this when it launched I bought it in Florida so I kind of have like a little bit of a sentimental thing going on with it I never use it it's too dark for me I really need a lighter shade um oh, so hard man because I really want to keep this <laughs> Yeah, no, it's just, it's too dark. I need to get rid of it. Someone else can have this one. I have this Becca Mini in Vanilla Quartz. Because this one's so tiny, I kind of want to keep it, but I rarely use it. And this gives me like the, the like craziest cast because it's so pale. Um, but it is a really pretty shade. It's a weird color though. It's like a greeny, goldy, pinky color. Um, you know what, because it is unique and it's tiny, I'm gonna keep it. And then my Ofra X Nikki Tutorials highlighter in Everglow is broken in the packaging, but I don't care, I still love it. Um, I'm keeping this and as you can see it's uh, been well loved. That is just because of the packaging, but I do really like this and I use it whenever I want to blind people in space, okay? <laughs> Yay, one tub down. <laughs> oh, let's just skip these forward. I have this Topshop highlighter which is going nowhere. I used this the other day again and it is so good. I think this was like £10 or something. You can see the divot that I've made in this. I've had this for quite a while. I don't really want to pass on potentially expired products to other people and I still love it so I'm still going to use it. This is a super pretty pinky peachy blush but the shade of it really like melts into my skin and I think the formula of this is really good. Just for like a store like Topshop to come up with formulas like this, I really love it. So this is in the shade Crescent Moon and I'm keeping it. They've got new packaging and stuff as well, so this is this is really old. <laughs> Next product I have is Do The Hula, which is a liquid bronzer by Benefit. Uh, I do actually use this, even though it's ridiculously orange. I pumped out way too much. <laughs> I like mixing this with foundations if I've got fake tan on and sometimes on natural days where I wanna look really bronzed. Um, so this one is staying. I've got a few contour products in here. These probably should have been in with the foundations, but you know what, whatever. <laughs> I've got the Conceal and Define in the shade C12. I mean, why did I buy this color? Oh, actually, looks like a decent contour color. That's probably why. <laughs> I would say I keep it because it's the Makeup Revolution and it's affordable, but I've got the LA Girl one, which I really like instead. This is in the shade Toast, and this is perfect for me. So I'm gonna get rid of the Makeup Revolution one. I don't need it. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep the LA Girl one. I got the Makeup Revolution Face Base in the shade F10. Um, I actually use the shade when I'm tan in the other foundations. I bought this to contour. Um, I could probably still use that, so I'm gonna keep it. But this needs to go in the foundation drawer. This doesn't belong here. <laughs> 
And then I have this collection stick, which I remember liking this, the color was really good. It's quite cool tone, but almost verges on the pinky side. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I, I don't need it again. <laughs> and I'll be honest, I barely use cream contour anyway. <laughs> so we're getting rid of that. Okay, and the final box in here. <laughs> Uh, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter in the shade Snowflake. This ain't going nowhere. I do really like it and it's the only really super silvery highlight I've got. I don't use it a lot, but I'm keeping it because it was so much money. Um, and also it is really pretty. This will probably show its head around Christmas time. Because <laughs> it's so blinding and just, I mean, it looks like Christmas in the tub, doesn't it? so pretty okay so this is staying i got this fenty beauty highlight stick in the shade starstruck um i really like this when i was using it the finish on it is really pretty it's like metallic with a slight glimmer to it but it's not overly glittery um i'm gonna keep it all right guys i feel like my camera is like struggling to focus today it needs to sort this life out <laughs> i've got the fenty beauty Diamond Balm in How Many Carrots. This ain't going nowhere. It's a gorgeous. It's staying. It's just a wet look. Shimmer. So beautiful. Staying. Oh, I have MAC Soft and Gentle. Um, I did actually get away with using this, even though it's kind of uh, a little bit too dark for my skin. Again, when I'm tan, I use it, and I've made a dip in this. Like, I use this quite a lot. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I told you guys, this is gonna be the hardest draw for me to go through. We have the Doll Light in Pretty Little Glow. This is too dark for me. I've used it like once, but as you can see, just the reflect on this, it's just way too dark for me. I thought I might be able to get away with it because the images online were a little bit misleading, but on my actual face, it's too dark. So I'm gonna get rid of that part with it. Somebody else will love it because I do actually like the formula on these. This is the shade Like a Diamond and I use this an insane amount. <laughs> I tend to take this in my bag, if I'm honest, um, as like a mirror, but then I touch up on my highlight as well. So I use this quite a lot. This is one of my favorite shades of highlighter. It's just, I don't know. It's similar to the Amorese one, but it's slightly lighter. I'm pretty sure I did that comparison in my video, but it's so pretty. It's like gold, but not gold, kind of silvery. I really like this one, so it is staying. Now this is an oldie. This is one of the first ever high-end products that I bought ever, and it's by Urban Decay. It's the Afterglow in Aurora, and it is just a pinky highlight. Um, it's still really soft. It's like almost like a lavender lilac color. Um, do want to keep it because it's different to all my other highlighters and it is quite old. I really like it, so it stays. Guys, I've barely gotten rid of any of my highlighters. <laughs> I have a problem. I have this, which I could probably part ways with, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> it's by Illamasqua. It's like a cream highlighter in the shade Gleam, as you can see. It's had better days, but it's a very light pinky gold. And I really like this at one point. It's really like natural and on natural days, it's really pretty, but mm, <laughs> why am I struggling so much? Um, this is one of my only like high-end kind of cream highlighters, so I'm gonna keep it. It's really pretty. I really love this. This is actually a blush, but I don't know who's wearing it as a blush because you literally will be highlighting your cheeks. This is the Soap and Glory Blush Brick in the shade Apricot Jam and it's like a pinwheel. I tend to use every single color apart from the bronze, um, but I have used the bronze on the eyelid and it's super pretty, but if I mix it all together, it's uh, a little bit too dark for me. So I tend to just segment it and then I can make it work. So I'm gonna keep this one again. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I used to use this in my very old makeup videos. So I'm gonna keep it. We have my Ofra Star Island highlighter. This is one of my favorites. This ain't going nowhere. This is pretty new as well. Um, but again, super blinding, super pale. It's such a nice gold color. This one is staying. Uh, I've got this rainbow highlighter by Makeup Revolution. This can go. I'm, I'm never gonna use these colors. This is when rainbow was a trend. Uh, it can go. <laughs> oh, my baby. Oh. 
This is a very old sleek highlighter. <laughs> Do you remember when these came out and they were massive? This is the Sleek Solstice Highlighter Palette. Um, they've actually brought out individuals of this now and I want to go see if they have the shades that I could use and in fact they don't. They're using all the darker shades. Um, as you can see, this one's had better days but <laughs> Cream Highlight has all of this highlighter that was in there in it because <laughs> it smashed. I wish they had brought out the yellow shade as an individual highlighter as well because then I would have bought that one. They're still really pretty though. Um, like and they're so blinding. Like so ridiculously blinding. I am going to keep it because I'm a hoarder and don't at me. <laughs> okay, so that's this store done. I'm gonna quickly wipe it down and we are gonna move on. <laughs> okay, so that is that draw. <laughs> Done. That I really need to fix that. Okay, so these are my single blushes that I'm keeping. All these top row by here, and then these are what I'm getting rid of. I know this is technically a palette, but it's going anyway. <laughs> so let's say sayonara to these. My blushes and my highlights and my bronzers are going to be going into the same compartment, I think. So I'm just going to set these aside. These are all the bronzers that I'm keeping and these are actually ones that I need to try. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with my to try pile at the moment. I'm thinking I'm gonna get like a basket or something to put the products in, but I don't know at the moment. So I'm just gonna stack them with the rest. Also, I found these blushes, which I'm getting rid of by the way. They were just in a pile that I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> Honestly, if you saw this room right now, you would understand how I'm missing things out. Uh, it's a mess in here. <laughs> And I cannot wait for this all to be sorted and look nice. Uh, it's killing me on the inside looking at it right now, honestly. So these are again going with my blushes and highlights. So let's just go through the highlights now. Okay, so this is my highlight category. I'm not getting rid of a lot of things, as you can see. <laughs> these palettes and these kind of individual ones just done by here are the ones that are going. So let's remove these from the picture. keeping all these. <laughs> I think I'm gonna store these little palettes in with the individuals because they're not that much bigger to be honest. But yeah these are all going in with the blushes and bronzers. Hopefully if they all fit in <laughs> we shall see. Get one of these compartment guys again and let's get to putting all of these into it. went in there pretty well. Um, I quite like the way they're stacked. I know they're not perfect so they're not like perfectly satisfying but I still think they've stacked together quite well in there. Now let's move on to bronzers. perfect but it's uh, it's getting there <laughs> now for blushes I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit everything in here but we shall see
Okay, I think I've done it. Um, a little bit of compromise here and there, so a few are, well, they're not really mixed up. All the blushes are right here. Bronzers are by here. Highlights are here. The only kind of compromise I have is this, which I'm not going to use in videos anyway. Um, this is the Ted Baker blush and highlight kind of combo, so um, I think it can live here. That's fine. I'm fine with that. But yeah, there we go. All my blushes and highlights and contours all in harmony in one drop. <laughs> the only thing I kind of had to leave out was this. I was only keeping it for body highlights, so maybe I could put it in my kind of body section, like with my tan and things like that, because this is messy anyway, and yeah, I think I'm going to put it in there so I don't have to say goodbye and I can trial it on the body, so, you know, I look all glowy in pictures and stuff. <laughs> now it's time to tackle eyeshadow. I think that would be the best move, so let's get to it. All right, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this series. I honestly love watching makeup to clutter videos and organization videos, so I hope this video is the same for you guys. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a thumbs up. <laughs> If you want to see future declutters then don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below and the bell button to get notified of my future uploads. If you're watching this in the future and they're already all uploaded, I hopefully have made a playlist and I'll link it in the eye for you over there. Or I'll link it down below for you guys. Here's to staying organised forever. Yeah. <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> but yeah, that is it from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys!